Hey guys, what's going on? Mike the K-Man Q here again from Paleo Problem Long Island and MikeTheKman.com. Today's question is, should you be eating snacks? I'm the K-Man. And the answer is, probably not. And obviously, if we're talking about Doritos and popcorn and pretzels and things, then the answer is definitely no. Now, this generally comes about due to the misconception that we have to eat six meals a day in order to be healthy, keep that metabolic engine revving. But if we are using an evolutionary template, more often than not, we adapted to a long period of fasting until we obtained that food, at which point we feasted. Meal frequency was a lot less often and we weren't grazing throughout the course of the day. This concept likely arose from two main places. One is the bodybuilding community, where when they're bulking, they simply need to get in extra calories from somewhere. So whether it be snacks or shakes or bars, they need to be able to meet the needs, particularly of protein, in order to build that muscle. The other is founded upon the faulty assumption that we need to be on the blood sugar roller coaster. Excessive consumption of carbohydrates, particularly of the processed and refined variety, will lead to blood sugar spikes and blood sugar drops, which in turn will keep the hunger cascade going. As such, you feel the physiological need to continue eating all day. The other big issue, though, is likely the result of time constraints. A lot of times people are grabbing snacks on the go because they don't think they have the time to make three full meals a day. But that's where prepping ahead of time, batch cooking, or even making the best choices you can while out at restaurants is a great idea. That's going to be your best friend. And the fact of the matter is, you don't necessarily even need three meals a day. It could be one, it could be two, it could be three, maybe even four. If you want to do six, that's up to you, but you shouldn't have to snack. When you're eating, you should eat enough of the right types of food, and that should generally keep you satiated for most of the day. Now, are there segments of the population that could do better with more meals? Yep. Are there segments of the population that can do well with snacking? Absolutely. But if you're going to go that route or you want the types that has to, make sure you're making the right choices. Some good options on that case include things like nuts, beef jerky, chicharrones. Those will all provide a decent amount of protein and fat to keep you going until your next meal. But at the end of the day, barring a severe health condition, you're probably not going to die after going a couple of hours without eating. Just saying. So your biggest takeaways are that no you probably shouldn't be snacking. Grazing throughout the course of the day with snacks is a relatively evolutionary novel concept and probably is more a result of making sure we sell enough processed foods. Now, if you absolutely need to snack, make sure you're making the right choices. Stay off that blood sugar roller coaster. Either way though, guys, hope this helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Long Island and of course, over at thecaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Put down the Doritos, and I'll see you tomorrow. The answer is, yeah, probably should. Now, I'm the